lyrical end. Step into me, yo, that's a wrong move. So what you want, Hobbs? Dope a dog food. <laughs> This is definitely one of my favorite MCs. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of his catalog, but one thing about this song is one, not that it was definitely part of my childhood. This is probably one of the first songs that I heard like on the radio when I was coming up. Um, I was young, I didn't really understand everything about it you know but this is definitely like the way the melodies and stuff was hooked up to it i definitely remember the song and it's none other than bedford style representative who lives in durham north carolina now just to let you know that you know sweet tea is a motherfucker when we you know catch all these northerners down here but anywho my man big daddy Kane. No half-stepping. We be right back. And we're going to do the second verse because that is my shit right there. All right, be back. And the rappers be hoping to sound like me so soon I'll have to open a school of MCing for those who want to be in my field and court. Then again, on second thought, the half of these coming out sounding so similar. It's quite confusing for you to remember the originator. And boy, do I hate a perpetrator, but I'm much greater. The best, oh yes, I guess, suggest the best your best don't mess or test your highness. Unless you just address with best finesse and bless the paragraphs I manifest. And I'm rap prime minister, some say sinister. Not stopping the groove until when it's the climax, climax, relax and chill Have a break from a take of me acting ill Brain cells are lit, ideas start to hit Next the formation of words that fit At the table I sit, making it legit And when my pen hits the paper, aw oh shit I stop to stand strong over MCs and devour With the power of Hercules or Samson But I go further to left Cause you can scout my cameo and I still have strength And no, that's not a myth and if You try to rip or get whipped The man with the given gift of gab your vocab I only ignore Be sleeping on your rhymes till I start to snore you can't awake me, or even make me fear your son, cause you can't do me none. So, think about it if you're trying to go. When you wanna step to me, I think you should know that. I'm the big Alright, so, let's get to the second, you know, second verse of the lyrical breakdown. This is definitely one of my favorite verses. Um, just so dope. My rhyme is so dope, and the rap would be hoping sound like me so soon i have to open the school of the mc in for those who want to be in i feel the court but again a second thought the hell mc's coming out sounding so similar it's quite confusing for you to remember the originator and boy do i hate a perpetrator but i'm much greater i mean man just the braggadocious rhymes man the braggadocious rhymes the whole like the way he you know delivering the, that bounce He's bouncing on the, you know, the words and things a little bit. And then on top of that, you know, one thing about Kane that's really great uh, about him, he can switch his delivery up. And it's still kind of dope, you know, with the, you know, the sound like me. And soon you have to open a school of MCing for those who want to be in a fill of court. But again, a second thought, you know, he's still... You know, he's still rhyming, but he kind of just switched it up. Like, you're bouncing and like, huh? And then it's like, you got to kind of cut, you know, catch back up. But, I mean, man, it's just dope. Definitely a uh, top tier MC. Not quite a Rakim. You know, a lot of people, you know, he wanted to have that battle between him and Rakim. Um, I think Kane would have probably won. And it probably would have been a unpopular opinion, but... Um, but particularly rapping, if they, if it comes to rapping, I think Rakim would actually get him, like, as far as, like, writing, writing stuff down, and, um, if you look at the, you know, the previous lyrical breakdowns that what me and Curtis did, especially the one with, uh, especially, you know, uh, Lyrics of Fury and The Punisher, respectively, um, you know, we go into detail about, you know, the rhymes and, and the things and what, you know, what's going on. Um, but, yeah, just, you know. But anyway, I mean, Kane, Kane is 
really, really close to like probably the closest out of a lot of MCs to being like Rock him top, you know, tier MC and um definitely one of the dopest to do it. Anyway, let's go back. The best, oh yes, I guess suggest the rest of fest. Don't try to mess or test your highness unless you address the best finesse and blessed with a paragraph, I manifest. Yo, my man just goes like, the best, oh yes, I guess, suggest the Ted rest. I mean, right there. I mean, he just bouncing on them words. I mean, and then too, what's crazy though, the video on this, he's in a boxing ring. You know what's crazy? Like, he's in a boxing ring. They knew what they were doing with this song. It's perfect. It's perfect. He's like Muhammad. He's like Muhammad Ali in that bitch, man. He's like, yeah, man. You know, he's like, oh yeah. You, know, you think you got me on the on the rap? You know, the best. Oh, yes, I guess suggest rest. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just going going hard with that, man. So uh, let's go back. So rap prime minister. So say sinister. Non-stop the groove. And stop. Non-stop the groove until when it's the climax. And I max relax and chill. Have a break from the take me acting ill. I mean, him breaking that down. So, rap prime minister, some say sinister, non rap stopping the groove until when it's the climax and I'm act relax and chill. I mean, that's a tongue twister. And then, like, again, like it's, it's like he's again that switch of the delivery. I mean, it's like he's driving and like he's kind of shifting gear to get that turn and then just. Coming back full throttle. I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I feel that that's what he's doing. You know, so climax. I relax and chill and have a break from the take and be acting ill. Now this part right here, this is my favorite. This, yo, this is my favorite right here. Yo, I'm, I'm cheesing like a motherfucker, but boy, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Ready? Brain cells are lit. Idea starts to hit. Next formation of words that fit. Next. Ah. So, here it goes. Brain cells are lit. Ideal starts to hit. And that next, the formation of worth that fit. At the table I sit, making it legit. And when the pen hits the paper, oh, shit. Woo! That's, <laughs> yo, that's my, man. Tell you. That right there? Yo, it's just. What can you say? What can you say, man? Like, he, it's just like. He going into like, look, this is the my, this is I'm telling you where the working of this rhyme stuff is. I'm telling you it's in my mind. And then like I formulate this stuff, and then like I'm sitting down, and when I write these little rhymes out, boom. There it goes. So the next the next verse, so when we the next part of the verse rather, I so I stop and stand strong over MCs and devour with the power of Hercules or Samson. But I could go further than this, because you just got the cameo and I'll still have strength. And no, that's not a myth. And if you try to riff or get with the man with the giving, gift the gab, the vocabulary, I'll only ignore. Be sleeping on your rhyme till I start to snore. <laughs> just, yo, my man, my man came all over the place, man. Like in that ring, in that video, he was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not much of a fighter. I'm never like, man, this motherfucker would be. But anyway, but yo, and just like, just dancing around doing the thing, man. Just, just dope. Just dope. Anyway, you can't awake me or even make me. You can't fear me, son, because you can't do me none. But think about it. If you're trying to go, it's when you step to me, I think you should know that ain't no half stepping. I'm the big daddy. Yo, I mean, this is just a, man. When it comes, when it comes to hip hop, especially that golden era, that golden era, in 86, 87, that song is a testament to why I'm so much of a hip hop head. That song there, it's a fucking testament of why, why I'm so passionate about this art. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I know that, you know, the younger, the younger generation, not, not to harp on that. I mean, hopefully one day when y'all do stuff like this, y'all have y'all artists that y'all can say, hey, this is, what, this is the stuff that made me passionate about, you know, what I am today. You know, what, you know, why I'm passionate about the, 
the genre. I, I honestly, you know, I may not agree with it, but I can't wait for that to happen. You know, and, that, and it, it's, it's already happening. It will happen, but I'm just saying. So, but yeah, man, this song is just something that holds there in my heart. And then on top of that, just the, the rhyming. You know, it's pretty much simple. It's simplistic words. Uh, well, originated perpetrator, you know, that's probably, you know, as complex as it goes. But it's still, like, as far as, like, the way he sets it up, I mean, it's almost like a, it's almost like, you know, he's setting up this tower. And, then like, it's, it's coming down. Like, he's setting up this tower on you, and then it's, like, coming down. Like, he's breaking it down, and, like, piece by piece, you know. So, man. All I can say is, long live the cane, baby. And uh, this is it for uh, another Lyrical Breakdown Try and Hip Hop Podcast. Peace. Fart. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. And <laughs> man, this is my favorite right here, man. Hold on. I got to kind of geek it out. Yeah, anyway. Brain cells are lit. I did start to hit. Next, the formation of words that fit. And when my pen hit the paper... Ah, shit.